honestly, I realized like, wow, I am growing because I couldn't afford to not forgive. It just, that, that, that pattern was already broken. I'm healed from that. I can confront things that make me uncomfortable. I can talk to someone that I'm not happy with and express what I felt because before I was terrified to do it. I didn't know how to do it and I didn't want to do it. And I just, I numb myself with other things. I numb myself with, you know, and now that I've broken that pattern, I was trying to default go back. I had a friend and he said that he was willing to help me. I could take you to the test. Um, and then I could also take you to the airport, all this other stuff. And I'm thinking like, do I really want you to take me to the airport? Do I really want to rely on you? And that default Debbie, that default Debbie was like, don't trust it. Don't trust it. And, you know, I didn't give him a yes. I didn't give him a no. I just said, okay. And then Tuesday morning, I called, well, Monday night I called, he didn't pick up. And then Tuesday morning I called and he didn't pick up. And what happened was um, that distrust, that, that, that resentment, that negativity started to seek in. And I had to figure out a way to get to my COVID test, which I did. And by the time he called me, I was already done with the COVID test. And he was like, oh, how did everything go? And I'm thinking to myself, like, how do you think it went? Of course I had to make it. And then so I was, I was in a mood. Like, I was pissed. I felt like, why did you volunteer to help me? This is why I can't rely on anybody. Like, I started venting. I was just like, that unforgiveness, that... That, that feeling like, you know, I can't trust anybody. I can always do it on my own. That started to steep up. And that was in my spirit pretty much all day. Like I, default Debbie was like, get out of my life. I'm done. Because like for me, what I realized was even, I, I've, been, I've been so scarred sometimes by people, by myself, by anything, that even if I see a red dot, not even a red flag, a red dot, I run. This was something that my therapist was talking to me about and it was about emotional triggers. And this is one of the, the homeworks I have to work on is what triggers me, right? And there's been a lot of things that I've been paying attention to that's been triggering my emotions or triggering my responses. And I remember one of my pastor, um, he was talking about, you know, look at how you react to certain things. If you react to certain things and it's like a 10, when it really, the response should really be like a two, then you know something's off. And I've been noticing that I've been going more 10, 20 than I have been two and one. There was a small voice, and I know this is God too. It was saying, Debbie, you need to forgive this. You need to let this go and you need to confront it. Because normally what I have done in the past is the person hurt me or I see some type of red flag and I say, okay, I'll give them a chance or I'll sh extend mercy to the person because they're not perfect and I'm not perfect or whatever it is. And then it blows up in my face because they do it again or they do something worse. And I think what I was doing to this person was, okay, you're never going to, you're not going to hurt me like this. I'm not going to let you in enough to hurt me. Like now that I see that you can disappoint me, I'm done. And it's like, what type of, then th this is my spirit. What type of relationship will you ever have if you run away at every time somebody disappoints you, every time somebody upsets you, every time somebody shows that they're human just like you? Because I'm going to need grace. I'm going to mess up someday. I'm going to need somebody to forgive me. And I remember that me, the re original reason why I was going to therapy was about forgiveness, was about letting go, was about confronting things that have hurt me. And I survived that. Even though the outcome did not look the way I thought it was, it didn't break me. God helped me confront a huge situation and I felt so much more free. And I realized that that pattern of holding on, unforgiveness, tightening up, having a wall up, being very defensive because I'm trying to protect my heart. But that's not protection. I'm not guarding my heart. I'm walling up my heart because I figured, you know what? I can't allow somebody to scar me up, to stab me up because what if I don't survive the scar? What if I don't survive your stabbing? And that was the wrong thinking. And in my gut, in my spirit, in my soul, it said, Debbie, we can't, you can't afford to not forgive this. This is taking too much from you. This toxic pattern, this default Debbie has to go. This, this holding on. Remember, we, we've we done this. You've done the work. How will you ever have a healthy relationship with yourself, with others, with God, if you don't allow grace? 
And even if this is my thing, you know how they say fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. My default, Debbie, is like, you're never going to get to shame me twice. Like I will, you can't get there because I can't allow you to do it. But my thing is I have no control of what another person does. I only have control over me and my, and it took too much from me to hold on to that. So I literally called him and I said, you know, this is what happened. This is what I felt. This was deeper than a broken promise. This is about trust. And I really was open and vulnerable. And I knew, typically, Default Debbie has never done that. Normally, she cuts off or she'll, you know, whatever it is that I decide to do. And even if somebody disappoints me again and I gave them another chance, it's not going to kill me. It's not going to be the end of me. It will, I, I may feel a little sting, but God got my back. And I woke up this morning, I'm like, I have to remember this. Debbie, you are growing and you need to be proud of yourself. That sometimes, yes, that default, Debbie, that gut feeling may want to come back in, but we have broken that cycle. Debbie, you're really onto something and you're not perfect, but you're. I'm starting to see the growth. And sometimes it takes a while before you see it because I've been in therapy about this over a year. And this is the first time I've waken up and I dealt with a situation where I've broken that pattern. Where I couldn't, I literally, I was so sick to my stomach, like internally, that I couldn't not confront it. Because I already had the tools inside of me. I had I had God to help me confront it and not run from it. There will be tests and trials. But also, he doesn't want me to live that way. Have a spirit of fear. And this is what I'm going through right now.